Hey guys, welcome back to the Fire Red Nuzlocke. We are back in Lavender Town. It seems like there's an attachment to this town for me almost. As if Bob is calling me back here every time. <laughs> He's like, please don't leave me. I died here. But uh, I think since we're, you know, we're training up random Pokemon to, to level up different things and see how things go, I think what I'm going to try is to get bubbly potentially some levels in here let's see how much experience bubbly gets here if it's not that much then we'll head down to the lavender uh, Pokemon tower and try to train up some of the Pokemon in there not a crazy amount of experience but it was a level 16. Hmm. We could go to Diglett Cave. But that could also be a disaster. Because of the stupid magnitudes. Machop. Yikes. Bubble be enough to take this thing out? I don't want to use too much for the water guns. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> uh. Not the craziest amount of experience. Hopefully some like onyxes or something would be nice but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get lucky enough I still haven't looked up the safari zone thing as well I need to uh, look up some nuzlocke to fire red and see Please be a higher level. Okay. I think everything is around 16 in here. Bubbly's eye is freaking me out looking at it there. <laughs> if I could get an Onyx, it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, freaking sea bats. I'm not even going to battle this thing. It's just going to be annoying. Those were trainers that I had to battle. Hmm. Let's go train with some ghosts. How many times am I going to come back to this place, I wonder? This is like a symbol of Bob's death, and I just keep returning. And the worst thing is, like, you can't run in here. It, like, slows everything down. But yeah, to, to bring up something that I said in the last episode about this, like, supposed rumor about a Pokemon collection because collections are this like big thing right now since the Mario All-Stars collection came out. Even I'm talking about the, the Legend of Zelda collection over on Twitter that you know they could do some crazy stuff with that next year because it's the 35th anniversary. Uh, I don't know if there's an anniversary for Pokemon next year. Maybe there is, but... I thought we already had an anniversary for Pokemon, so that's why like I'm I'm a little like weary about it. Cause I thought we just had one, so 
and plus with like everything that's going on in the world the announcements are kind of like stretched out throughout the year now instead of getting them in all one big dose like we used to because obviously if if everything would have been normal this year, we would have gotten that All-Stars Collection announcement back at E3. Because they would have just had like one big event and announced like a ton of games. It would have been insane. But, uh, if you guys own the All-Stars Collection, let me know how you feel about it, because... I've been enjoying it so far. The controls are a little bit weird. It's it's always weird to play Mario 64. <laughs> because every time I play it, it's always with a different controller. I, mean, I played it on the original N64. I played it on the DS. I played it on uh, Virtual Console. On the Wii U with a Pro Controller. And the and the tablet controller and now the switch pro controller and every single time something feels weird I know the the camera stuff especially in sunshine feels weird and they don't let you swap out the camera because it's like inverted or not inverted I always get mixed up with those goddamn spike I said a while back that I was going to re start recording uh, Donkey Kong Country 3, and I haven't started recording that yet. <laughs> uh, I, I watched the, uh, a bunch of speedruns the other day of Donkey Kong 1, 2, and 3, and uh, that was fun. Those, all three of those were amazing to watch. Um, they were super late at night, so I missed like, I think maybe like 10 minutes out of the second one because I fell asleep for like 10 seconds or 10 minutes I should say I missed the uh, the like the roller coaster area because when I woke up I'm like wait we're here what did I miss <laughs> it was like five six o'clock in the morning watching that please do a lot I wish I could catch this. You know, if you keep growling me, it's just gonna give me more of a payday. Holy crap. Um, bye. What the? What is with Cubone? And. Friggin' Marowak, why do they hit so hard with their ground moves? Either that or Meowth had a really low defense. 315 bucks. Sweet. I can buy like one potion. <laughs> what item you got? Take a bay. Healed. Alright, Ghastly. Whoa, that is a low level ass Ghastly. crazy thing was, when I was watching the DK3 uh, speedrun, they did, what was it, 103% is like the max percentage you can get in the game, and that's like collecting all the DK coins and bear coin stuff, and like I remembered most of the game, but I, I've never gotten like the true last ending where you get the copter and you 
get all the banana birds. I, I've never gotten all the banana birds. And there was one level that I never recognized, and it was the one where you're inside of like a rocket ship. But I remember that area with, with some of those levels. Maybe I just never got to it. Because I'm sitting there and I'm watching this thing. I don't remember ever being in a rocket ship. What the? <laughs> Everything from DK2 I remembered. Uh, including the stuff that I didn't do for the channel. Like the, the other levels. I never even attempted it. <laughs> oh god. I wonder if that'll come back to... To haunt me one day. Somebody will be like, why didn't you do that? Because I didn't want to. Even though it has the true ending. If you think it was hard watching me try to beat Captain K. Rule in, in DK2, then you should try watching me try to do freaking the second Captain K. Rule fight. Or it's just like one long gauntlet of him shooting crap at you. Which, as a kid, the only part that I would screw up was like at the very end. I would always get hit, so... Alright, Lucky, you've had some training. Let's... Let's see if I can pull off a switch, like, get some experience in it. If I could get a Haunter to pop out and switch, that wouldn't be too bad for experience. I never did get experience share, did I? Versus Seeker, Poke of Loot. Wait. I thought that would draw a Pokemon to you. I wish I could hit this thing. I mean, I could teach Boom Shockwave, and that would speed things up a little bit. Nightshade. Nice. I can one shot a 17 now, which is good. These training sessions are getting, like, really slow. <sighs> ah, thank you for taking yourself out. Hopefully he doesn't use Confuse Ray. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. Ooh. Gee, that was more than I thought. Nugget, that's 5,000 bucks right there. What should I do now? Should I continue the training efforts? I think in the next episode we're gonna get the original gang back together and we are gonna head 
over to the bike path and see what I can get done level wise with them. And then we're going to attempt Fuchsia Gym. And hopefully we don't lose everybody. If like even one can survive, then at least like these guys are kinda hanging in the background. But if we lose everybody, it's all over. <laughs> which is which is very worrisome. Because that Fuchsia Gym can be scary. Kinda like losing your gaslight to a pursuit. Me. I should have known better at this point in the game to use a ghastly around those those normal types. That that was just a really bad call. In a moment when I have like a very bad mindset of like, well, I've already lost this one and this one and this one. Might as well lose some more. <laughs> That's when you end the episode and take a break. Yeah, you're getting Definitely switched on that. I feel like Cubones were a lot more rare here. But maybe I'm just getting really lucky. Or unlucky in the fact that I can't catch one. Alright. We're gonna get hopefully another Ghastly or Haunter. We're going to level up fear, and that's when we're going to call it. So, hopefully everybody enjoyed today's episode. I know I've been doing a lot of training. Uh, hopefully you guys bear with me and, and enjoyed a little bit of a chat. If you did, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, come on back. We're going to have the original team in the next episode. And we're going we're gonna to head on over to the bike path, and that's... We're going to start things off. I'm going to end the episode after I work my way out of this place. And heal up. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to work our way out of here. As I'm walking down. Uh, do you guys believe in the rumor of the Pokemon collection? I don't, but maybe some of you might believe in it. Uh, if you think it's true... What ones would you like to see on the Pokemon collection? Would you like to see both versions of Sun and Moon on it? Or would you just like to have one, you know, version of it in general? Because I don't see the point in having both. <laughs> but, you know. In, in my opinion, I, I would like to see, like, um, uh, Platinum, uh, black and like one of the black and white games black and white 2 whichever one uh, they would they probably go with the one that probably sold the most to be honest the worst thing is like you I think you miss out on a certain legendary if you don't get Ooh. yeah they could package them all together actually now that I think about it because of the legend, like multiple legendaries. Uh, obviously, you don't need to put Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald on it because you would just go with the Omega Ruby, Sapphire versions. Uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which had their trademarks renewed, which is interesting. <laughs> oh god, it's just gonna feed into it even more. It, Anytime you ever see those articles online and you see like, oh, the Nintendo uh, renewed trademarks, it doesn't mean much of anything. They've renewed trademarks all the time and people freak the hell out about it, but nothing ever comes out of them, so uh, most of the time. So don't lean into it too much, guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is where things are going to end. In the next episode, I'm going to have the OG team back. We're going to be over on the bike path. We're going to start things off there. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.